Hello there everyone and welcome back to the next video for the Brick Road Chicago 2020 mock update series. This episode is filled with lots of progress and some really cool new stuff that's being built. I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, looking for any feedback, um, any cool ideas that you guys have. So hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you can kind of see a preview right now of some of the hallways. So uh, let's get started. All right, guys. So we are on the bottom over here. And uh, in previous episodes, I started to do a lot of designs. I started to do a lot of designs for, for the ground here in the Separatist hallway. And I have now kind of completed that all the way down for the time being. And kind of started to run out of uh, dark blue parts down there, but I think it turned out okay. So there's the floor design so far. And then I also just put in some lights. You kind of see some of the strings. There's one of them up there. Um, so I just put in the lights. And I think that makes it look a lot, uh, it looks really, really cool. Now, I don't know if we'll keep them just the plain white light or if we'll do green again. I'm not too sure. You guys can let me know what if you like, if you prefer just kind of the normal light like this or do you like the green light that we did in that um, back hallway back in the second episode. And then I also just put in some assassin droids uh, because we might use those in this mock. I don't think, I haven't really used the assassin droids a whole lot. I think it would be cool to include them. Um, in the mock so you can kind of see there I just set a few of them up just so we could see what the hallway was looking like and I think it looks pretty cool so far um, yeah again trying to keep a lot of that separatist blue that's the motivation for a lot of that uh, a lot of the blue uh, plates and stuff like that so uh, yeah there's pretty much complete there um, I'm sure I'll come back and touch a few things up uh, whenever I get some more free time or if I, I decide to change a certain design we'll see what happens a little closer look at the ground design right there. Alright guys, so uh, we're on the far left. I think I've shown this part of the mock a few times. And there's an entrance to the base right there. And I just got done making these two things right there. Uh, just kind of extending the entrance, uh, or not the entrance, but extending the um, these pillars up. So you can kind of see that. That is also going to be the height of the mountain when it's finished that's at least the current plan so here is that height from a different angle um, i'm hoping this will be as tall as the mountain that's what i'm going for right now at the current moment uh, that far side over there is getting really really close actually to the height and again here's just another look of what this is nothing too special really and i think it looks really cool for like a pillar design for the entrance to the base down there and then again, this is the height that I'm going for for the mountain. As you guys can kind of see here, again, just working on the train ever, you know, I just work on the train every once in a while. I've extended it, kind of another 16 by 16 plate now, and it's looking pretty cool. Again, eye level, I really like eye level uh, for mocks like this. Again, it's like, it's like not super noticeable, but uh, just it, to me, it's like it's finally starting to, you're finally starting to see the terrain shape throughout the mock, even though it's just on this side. Um, and that hopefully I'll be able to extend that a little bit more in the upcoming episodes, but it just, it's starting to look really nice. I'm, I'm happy with the train so far. I think I'm going to keep this kind of style and technique of the train and spread it across most of the build. Here's a shot of it from pretty far away. Again, I always think it looks better from farther away because of the way the studs, um, the way the terrain's built, all the little small details kind of looks really good from far away, kind of like a mosaic where the farther you get away, it starts to get a little bit more shape. Shot from far away, I think it looks pretty cool. And to me, it's finally starting to shape up. I hope you guys are liking the way the terrain is looking so far. And then hopefully in the next few episodes here, I'll be able to extend that. All right, guys. So this is that entrance to the base that's above ground. You can kind of see that I added in some trans blue bricks in there. And then I have a light shining through there. So the hallway kind of gives a cool um, bluish tint to it. So I think that looks pretty cool. Um, what those are exactly, like what the blue things are supposed to be in Star Wars universe, I don't know. Right now they're just kind of sitting there. I had the idea of maybe putting a few clones in there and having them be kind of like, um, kind of like Echo from um, the new Clone Wars episodes, where they're just kind of like doing experiments on them and stuff like that. Otherwise, if they're not that, then it might just be like power cells or like just some sort of Star Warsy technology. Um, of power or shield generators or something 
Right now they're just blue, trans blue, with um, a light shining through just to give it, just to give that hallway a little bit more uniqueness. So it's just not kind of um, just a plain hallway, I guess. I thought it would be kind of cool to include some more trans blue elements throughout this mock because I used them a lot in Siege Mandalore, obviously. I really do like the trans light blue color. I think it's really, really cool. So especially when you put lights behind it. So uh, there's an update to the hallway. Not super exciting, but still a cool little addition. All right, here are a few shots of all the lights that are currently in the mock. Again, there's going to be a lot more lights. Uh, past few years, lights uh, for the mocks have definitely been uh, something that we've focused on just because Burko Chicago has the World of Lights event um, on Saturday night. And that's always a fun thing to participate in and walk around and see the mocks. So we want to try to have a lot of lights in our build as well. So, so far in the build, we've got that hallway back there with the blue light shining through. A little bit of a blue tint in that hallway. And then down here, green light in there. And then this light we just showed off in this episode, just a normal kind of a colder um, white light. Don't know if we'll change that to green or not. I'll have to see what you guys think about this light. Again, in the comments, do you want this main hallway here to be green, like the back hallway? Or do you like it to be just the white light? And then I'll get a quick shot here with all the lights off in the room. All right, so here is what the mock lights look like with all of the house lights turned off. Hallway that I've shown off a few times with the blue tinted light. I think it looks really cool. And then down here, obviously, we've got the green hallway lights right there. And then down here is the main white light uh, on the main kind of front and center hallway. So I'm going to ask you guys, do you like this main hallway that you're looking at right now to be this white light? Or do you like the green light back here? Uh, so right now we have half and half as the lights are set out right now. I could be okay with either um, version. That back hallway will stay green because I really do like that. It's just this front hallway right here. Uh, whether or not this will stay as a white light or should it be changed to a green light. So uh, I'll be looking at the comments to see what you guys think about that. Alright, so I don't know exactly when this video will be posted. So you may or may not have seen um, a new mock that I had featuring... Um, a, a mock from the Mandalorian and I made a bunch of these um, kind of crates and boxes for that mock so I think I'm gonna reuse them for this build because I really do like the way they came out um, maybe down here in the tunnels area inside of the base essentially it's just these grill pieces I don't remember the exact name for them um, sorry kind of like that and then I put them on so you can see all these little cool like I don't know, they're kind of like mini circle things. You can kind of see it right down the middle right there. And it gives it a really cool texture, um, both on the side from the brick itself, but also this little pattern right here of like these circles. So I've got a bunch of them here. I might make some more, but I do really like the way they came out. So I think I will be using them in this mock. All right, quick update on the mountain. I've been adding um, more and more to this side ever so slightly, starting to get up to that height where I want it to be. That's still going to take a lot more work. More of an update kind of on this side over there. Started to work a lot on that. You can see there's still a few spots that need uh, filled in. I'm actually just now noticing, so I'm glad I recorded this segment. All right, guys. So I fixed a little bit of that stuff over there where you saw some filler brick. And then I also just started to work on the mountain even more. So you can see that a good amount of progress has been made and the mountain is getting taller and taller. And then of course the height up there on the left there is how high I want it to be. And then I also started on a bunker or kind of a gun emplacement. So you can kind of see that there. It's supposed to be kind of built into the rock formation and not, I mean, it's just kind of supposed to be built in there. Nothing too special because it's not really supposed to be anything that's like uh, very well designed. It's just a built-in bunker. So that built-in bunker is right there. And then the mountain is just getting taller and taller. And again, there will be a lot of those kind of gun emplacements throughout the build. We also have some that are work in progress over there. And then there's one over there that I showed in a previous episode as well. So lots of progress in the mountain. It's very, very tedious, but um, pretty rewarding once you step back and take a look at it. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am having a lot of fun building this mock, and I hope you guys are really enjoying the series. So as always, leave any comments or feedback or cool ideas that you have in the comment section below, and I will definitely check those out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.
and may the force be with you always.